Rapunzel is the OG queen of quarantine. Welcome to my prison and also my home. All right, so everybody is stuck inside. Corona, we don't like you. So uh, you're probably watching a lot of movies, which is great, but I thought I've watched almost everything under the sun. So I'm gonna give you a movies you should definitely watch whilst you're in self-isolation and movies you could probably give a miss. This week's edition, we're gonna start with my favorite Disney movies. So let's start with the movies you can absolutely avoid. You do not need to watch these movies. Little Mermaid 2, probably give that one a miss unless you love uh, helicopter parenting and Ariel's unrealistic mum body. Little Mermaid 3, it's called Ariel's Beginning. Ariel's Beginning of what? Puberty? I don't... It goes back in time, so you get to see Ariel's mum. And she is hot AF. She also looks way too young to have seven children. But also, the whole time you're like, King Triton, you are bat teen. Also, in The Little Mermaid 3, the villain is a governess has a weird sidekick who's this obese dugong and its name is Benjamin. It, I... <laughs> it is so weird! It's so weird. You know what? It's actually worth watching. It's like, put this on the good list. Aladdin 2, not great. However, Aladdin 6, Jafar's girlfriend Karen gets a pap smear. Not bad. The Lion King one and a half exists. And it is The Lion King from Timon and Pumbaa's perspective. It's actually quite clever, but like definitely for kids. Another one you can probably give a miss is The Hunchback of Notre Dame 2. It's where Cosimodo gets his um, hunchback removed. Uh, and it's a really nice story of him going to Thailand and getting a breast augmentation at the same time. You know what I would love to see? Bambi 2. I'd love to see the dad step up. <laughs> now let's move to some more positive news. Um, in saying that, I reckon you could almost watch all those movies just for like your own entertainment. Okay, movies you should watch from the Disney franchise. Uh, Tangled. And you know why you should watch Tangled? Because that is a lesson to us all as to how to do self-distancing. She is the OG queen of quarantine. That lady just sat in a tower for like 17 or 18 years alone with one woman who bought her food and hurt her hair. It is an educational film at this point. A parent trap. Lindsay Lohan as a British child and as an American child. I mean, there's no place it can go wrong. That's one of my favorite films. George of the Jungle. That is a Disney film and it is really funny and it is really nice to see a topless man. No further comments. Another movie that you have to watch, Descendants. Descendants one, two, three is iffy, but they are so good. So basically it's about the kids of the Disney princes and princesses and villains. So they're the descendants, you see. And I won't give too much away, but it's so, so good. Also, Camp Rock 2. Camp Rock 1, eh. Camp Rock 2, great. That's all I have time for. I could do more, but I'm just, I'm a bit over myself. Um, what should I do next? Put it below. Should I do movies you should and shouldn't watch from the action genre, romantic comedy genre, stand-up comedy sets? Tell me what I should do and I will do it for you. Um, stay safe, love you. Mwah.